Hi, it's Natalie Ledwell here. And today I'm going to share with you 10 empowering affirmations that will change your limiting beliefs. So why change our limiting beliefs? Well, because even though you hear them, you can't see them. They prefer to stay hidden, slowly and quietly draining you of your abundance and your success over the decades. They poison your success habits. They pull you away from lucrative choices and opportunities. They leave you feeling unworthy of love and financial prosperity and everything that you rightfully deserve. In fact, I'm giving away a downloadable PDF with 100 abundance affirmations. So all you have to do is click on the link in the comment box below to, to get that for free. All right, so let's start with some of my affirmations that I wanna share with you today that I think are the most powerful ways to be able to release these limiting beliefs. So the first affirmation is, my thoughts are under my control. The thing is with limiting beliefs, these are the thoughts that are on default. These are thoughts that maybe we've been thinking so regularly for like 20, 30, 40 years, we don't even realize that they're sabotaging our success. So when we say the affirmation, my thoughts are under my control, it means that you are consciously choosing the thoughts that you want to think and you're choosing the ones that are in alignment with the future that you want to create. Next affirmation is, all of my thoughts are positive and empowering. And this goes hand in hand with what we just said before. You're choosing the thoughts that you want to think and the thoughts that you choose are positive and empowering and really going to help you to propel forward in a very you know, strong way to be able to create what it is that you want in your life. The next affirmation is, is I am full of empowering thoughts from the moment I wake up. I'm full of empowering thoughts from the moment I wake up. Now, a really good place to put this uh, affirmation and to write it out is, it, is to make it a sticky note on the top of the bed or on the ceiling or on your phone before you pick the phone to look up at, look at it in the morning or even have it on the phone um, as, your, uh, as your wallpaper. I'm full of empowering thoughts from the moment I wake up. That way, when you do open your eyes, that's the first thing that you see and you're instantly choosing to, cho to think empowering thoughts. The next affirmation is, I am deeply connected with my higher self. I am deeply connected to my higher self. Now, when we're connected to our higher self, our higher self is what's giving us divine guidance. It's telling us really what's right for us, what's working for us, what's good for us. It's giving us divine downloads and ideas on how we can move forward in a powered way. So I encourage you to, to start a daily practice even if it's just five minutes a day, just sitting down and really getting centered and connecting to that divine part of who you are. Okay, next affirmation is, I am an open channel for endless creativity and wisdom. I am an open channel for endless creativity and wisdom. So when we can keep ourselves an open channel for all of this guidance coming in. So if we create a daily practice, where we're asking for the guidance and creating space for it to come in, then we wanna make sure that we are the conduit, we are the vessel, we are the open channel for endless creativity and wisdom. And that way we will receive the guidance that we need to be able to fulfill what it is that we want. So the next affirmation is, I believe I can do anything. The thing is, when you know that you can elicit the help of the universe, the help of you know, the divine, um, when we can connect to our higher selves. It's not like we're doing it alone. It's not like our ego or our human part of us is doing all the work. We're eliciting the leverage and the help of the universe as well. And when we can do that, it's really easy to believe that I can do anything, okay? <laughs> our next affirmation is each day I'm developing new and positive habits. So each day I'm developing new and positive habits. So think about some of the habits that you may want to release that's not helping you move towards your goal. It could be watching TV every night. It could be having two glasses of wine. It could be, you know, hanging out with the wrong people. Um, it, you know, it could be anything that you do to procrastinate because procrastination is connected to these limiting beliefs as well. 
And so when you can say every day I'm developing new and positive habits, what you're doing is replacing these old habits that are not helping you get anywhere with new and positive habits that are going to really help you to propel forward. So think about the things that you want to replace and, and, and um, make sure that you are replacing those with something that's really going to be powerful for you. It could be reading a book, it could be exercising, it could be anything that you can do that's going to really help to raise your energy. So the next affirmation is, my ability to conquer my challenges is limitless. So my ability to conquer my challenges is limitless. Because remember, we're not just talking about our human capacity or our human abilities. We're, we are leveraging the strength and the knowledge and the guidance of the universe as well. And when we understand that, we do understand that our ability is limitless. So the next affirmation is, I am enough and I deserve more than enough. Now, I am enough. I am not enough. I am not worthy. I don't deserve this. These are the, you know, two of the most powerful limiting beliefs that nearly every human being on the planet has. Um, and so when you can say, I am enough and I deserve more than enough, what you are doing is releasing that old limiting belief. You are stepping into the conviction of knowing that you are enough. See, the thing is, as an adult, we know that we are enough. We know that we have everything that we need and we know that we're deserving. But these you know, limiting beliefs and these programs that we adopted when we were young kids, when we didn't think we were, has been tainting the way that we see and the way that we move forward in our lives. So when you can, with, with conviction, say, I'm enough and I deserve more than enough, you are really opening up the channels for abundance to come through. Next affirmation is, I have the power to change my life by changing my thoughts. Isn't that the truth? I have the power to change my life by changing my thoughts. You know, I always talk about how, you know, we always see things in a certain way. Now, the, the way that we perceive things most of the time is a result of our culture, of our upbringing, of our limiting beliefs, of our programming, um, of our influence of the people around us. And sometimes all we need to do is do this. Change our thoughts from this and just look at, look at it a little bit of a different angle. Go, oh, wow, okay. Didn't think about it that way. And that can make a massive difference in our life. So I have the power to change my life by changing my thoughts. Super, super powerful. Now, by repeating these positive affirmations on a daily basis, you are reinforcing an intention that is so deep that it bypasses your conscious mind and goes straight into your subconscious mind. Now, when this happens, you start to experience change and you start enjoying the benefits of reaching your desired outcomes. So you go from visualizing positive thinking to living in endless joy and gratitude. And this is exactly what I want for you. So if you've been struggling to remove you know, a negative habit from your daily routine, and you really wanna create the things that you truly want in life, then repeat these affirmations every single day. Now, before I go, I'd love to know, do you practice affirmations daily? You know, if you do, please write your, the fa your favorite affirmations in the comment box below. And don't forget to subscribe to the My Babies YouTube channel for more videos on personal growth and the law of attraction. Again, my name is Natalie Ledwell. Thank you for watching and bye for now.